Today we are visiting the grave of Jay Sebring, victim of the Manson family that died protecting actress Sharon Tate. Born Thomas John Cummer, he was raised in Detroit, Michigan. After high school, he served in the U.S. Navy for four years and was a veteran of the Korean War. While in the Navy, Sebring developed the hairstyling skills that would make him famous. When he arrived in L.A., Thomas changed his name to Jay Sebring, the J for the first initial of his middle name, and Sebring for the race car. Jay was the first person to open the male hair salon in the country, and his cutting-edge style of men's hair care attracted big-name clients such as Warren Beatty, Jim Morrison, Steve McQueen, and Marlon Brando, just to name a few. At Kirk Douglas's request, Jay was the stylist for the movie Spartacus. In 1960, Jay married an actress by the name of Cammie, later divorcing in 1963. In 1964, Jay took martial arts lessons from master Bruce Lee, trading his hairstyling services for the lessons. Jay took a tape of Bruce to producer William Dozier, and Dozier signed Lee to be on the TV show The Green Hornet, the role which made Bruce Lee a household name. Take a while. Jay met actor Sharon Tate at a Hollywood party in 1964, and they fell in love. Upon Jay's divorce with Cammie, conflicting accounts abound of whether Jay proposed to Sharon and others that said that Sharon wanted to get married and Jay was hesitant. The matter was decided when Sharon fell for movie director Roman Polanski in 1966 when she went to London to film Polanski's A Few of the Sharon called Jay to break off the relationship, but Jay insisted on meeting Roman to decide if he was good enough for her. Roman passed the test and Jay stayed close friends with him and Sharon. In summer of 1969, Jay opened a new salon in San Francisco which was backed by Abigail Folger of the Folger's Coffee Company. He also started Sebring International, a hair product company that's still in business today. After wandering around the cemetery a while, we visited a few other graves. Robert Sanford Brown, who was a Detroit industrialist that owned Acme Paint and developed the Model T Ford Black Japan paint in the 1920s. Brown's Paint Company was later purchased by Sherwin-Williams of Cleveland, Ohio. And Frank Joseph Navin. He was a Major League Baseball team owner for 27 years and was the president and principal owner of the Detroit Tigers from 1908 to 1935.
After being locked in the cemetery last time we visited, we decided it was time to leave. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions,